here on Highway 1806 in Standing Rock, North Dakota, where the water protectors had just constructed a barricade. Supporters of President Donald Trump are out here tonight to rally behind their president in a March for Trump effort. I'm here at the Central Minnesota Islamic Center where people from a variety of religious backgrounds have gathered, all because of one letter. The search continues along the Mississippi River for St. Cloud State student Jesse Deity, who was reported missing early Saturday morning. We'll have details later today. This was the scene on Sunday when the Standing Rock protesters took to the streets with a road blockade. Now you can see that a few of the protesters, or water protectors, are covering their faces, and that's because they were preparing for the worst tear gas. I'm here on Highway 1806 in Standing Rock, North Dakota, where the water protectors had just constructed a barricade. This was just a normal day for those living on the front lines of the Dakota Access Pipeline controversy. Sacred Stone Camp is home to hundreds from across the country, and while most see it as a second home, there can be difficulties to camping out for the cause. Also, when you have to leave your family behind, you, you miss your family, but you, you meet uh, other new people here that keep you, uh, keep you going. This spirit of inclusion is shared throughout the whole camp as people from a variety of backgrounds are welcomed. You get to ride through and you get to hear um, different languages and it, it makes me feel honored to be here because um, all these different people and these cultures are here um, for Mother Earth. Pipeline officials do recognize the concerns surrounding the environmental issues, stating, Safety and reliability are top priorities for energy transfer partners and the Dakota Access Pipeline Project. We pledge to the communities we cross and the customers we serve that we will operate the pipeline with the utmost level of integrity and safety at all times. Despite the promises made by the DAPL, many are still angry about what they see as a violation of their homes. To be honest, I'm, I'm very pissed off. I'm, I'm very angry at the, the situation here when it comes to them trying to uh, build something that will harm my children and other people's children. While the fight may continue, many keep their spirits up as the construction gets closer. Bailey Verton, UTVS News. These chants were heard around the nation as March 4th came to be known as a day of demonstration. Minnesotans joined this effort by bringing their own voice to the state capitol. They are racist. They are KKK members. They are the alt-right, whatever you want to call them. They are not allowed to bring that hate into our state capitol and not be challenged for it. Despite the backlash from protesters, rally participants are holding steadfast in their belief that the president has been misrepresented and that the people who back him are more than just bigots. A lot of my friends, we love Trump. That doesn't mean we're racist. That doesn't mean we hate Jewish people. That doesn't mean that we're all going to destroy the world and take away women's rights. But everybody else seems to think this. While many came out to the Capitol in the hope for a peaceful exchange of ideas, violence did happen involving a taser and pepper spray. Police quickly contained the incident and remained in between the two opposing sides, making sure that nothing else happened. The event lasted through the afternoon and included speakers and a walk around the Capitol grounds. Bailey Verton, UTVS News. That is the sound of a hot air balloon starting to take flight. And even though there's snow on the ground and a chill in the air, the cold temperatures don't stop some people from enjoying what they love to do. I can still remember my first balloon ride. Uh, after flying airplanes for a number of years and teaching people how to fly airplanes, uh, to have someone invite me to come along on a hot air balloon ride. When I got in, about the first uh, five, ten minutes was pretty nerve-wracking. because This I... month represents an important time for those who enjoy aerial sports as November's National Aviation History Month, celebrating not just what flies today, but everything that has led us to it. Luke Sesnick is the president of Freedom Flight, which is a nonprofit corporation that promotes the POW MIA issue through the use of hot air balloons. Hot air ballooning is a very basic form of aviation. It's the oldest form of aviation. It's uh, about 230 some years old. If floating isn't your thing, St. Cloud State has an aero club that sports small planes for those currently going through flight school. I think the aero club is a great organization. I think flying is great, and it's it's just a way to get. Um, students and people interested in the sciences. The Aero Club is made up of students and faculty of SCSU and welcomes everyone who wishes to fly, whether it's for a career or for fun. The spirit of National Aviation History Month is captured by those who just enjoy the sport of flying and everything that goes with it. 
And I think it's also a good way to to tell people that you can follow your dreams. I mean, people say shoot for the stars. Well, I get pretty close in an airplane. Bailey Burton, UTVS News. Good morning. It's Thursday, May 25th. I'm Bailey Burton at 746. We're going to take a look at what the weather is going to look like this Memorial Day weekend. Good morning, it's Wednesday, March 15th. I'm Bailey Burton and we're going to get right into weather. Now taking a look at national headlines. Authorities say there are no signs of wrongdoing in the death of New York State Court Judge Sheila Abdus Salam. Salam went missing on Tuesday, but the New York City Police Harbor Unit retrieved her body from the Hudson River on Wednesday. Well ahead on Sunrise, Fetch is taking on a whole new meaning for one dog. How the canine is putting his skills on the golf course to good use to help other animals in need. But first, here's Sven with your forecast. The internet is a tool that many students use to get through the semester. However, for those looking to get out of their apartments, it can be a hassle. Take a look. I mean, it was just absolutely beautiful. It starts off a little chilly, you kind of have to put on your sweatpants, but then you can just switch the shorts right out. It's really nice. Good morning, it's Thursday, May 25th, and we're going to take a look at your forecast for this Memorial Day weekend. Well, ahead on sunrise, Fetch is taking a whole new meaning for one dog. How the canine is putting his skills on the golf course to good use to help other animals in need. But first, here's weekend for 